I want to direct this letter particularly to my junior year history teacher. I want to address this letter to the history teacher that taught me U.S. history. Dear Mr. Johnson, my beloved A Push and AP Gov teacher. How do I feel about my history teachers? Very loaded question, especially towards me, you, Mr. Smith. Well, how how do how would I even like talk about this? This is a letter to my civics teacher in high school named Mr. Redman. I know at the time I was very much discovering who I was and what my beliefs were with respect to politics and and I I was barely learning so many things and barely discovering so many things about myself. And I thought you were teaching me the right things. I thought you would know as a Hispanic person, as someone who feels so unseen, I thought you would know what it was like, but you really didn't. Dear you, I question why you chose to follow the curriculum. I question why you don't have more rage. I question why it took me speaking to you outside of class for you to help me understand my positionality in the world. You glossed over completely the Hispanic influence in U.S. history. I never learned about it. And you glossed over a majority of Native American violence, which makes up so much of U.S. history. The discussion of you know, the history of indigenous peoples began and ended with the founding of America. And after that, there was no follow-up discussion. You know the history of how America was founded. And you know that us children are being taught from day one when we're in pre-K to kindergarten. Oh, Christopher Columbus came, the white man saved the Indian. You wanted to paint this picture of the U.S. having such a beautiful and clean cut history. And that's just not true. And so much of our history is violence, whether that's against Native Americans or African American people or people of color, LGBTQ people, women. And I saw not only a flaw within, you know, how much time was spent discussing um, these issues, but, you know, these are people that are deeming what is important in U.S. history. And for me, it just, it boils my anger to think that these people have the right to dictate what I should be learning. So if you know from the basis of the U.S. history of how shit hit the floor from day one, the destruction, decimation, disease, pestilence, war, famine of Native communities. And you taught us history the way we've always been taught it from the perspective of a white man as if you're a white man and you weren't. And I thought that because of that you would understand so much better, but you just didn't. For me, my anger primarily stems um, towards the LAUSD um, school board. A majority of the time that history is erased and belittled and forgotten about. I remember so vividly sitting in your civics high school class. Um, you sat there in your little podium and you told us that you don't believe that racism exists anymore in America. You might have glossed over racism too quickly and said that racism no longer exists, but maybe because racism isn't something that you experience living as a white man in California. But you don't want to teach him about how white power exists, racial supremacy, white supremacy, white privilege. Like, at a history class, U.S. history nonetheless, that is mandatory, mind you. You have to take that in order to graduate. With the words white power, white privilege, white supremacy, would that really be so hard to go above and beyond a textbook level learning? The racial inequalities that are set up in America, that the system was never meant for us. It was never meant for anybody that wasn't white, nonetheless heterosexual, nonetheless male. I am queer Chinese American and an immigrant. Where do I fit in white heterosexual male? I am one of your top students and I am brown, I am black absolute belief that students should be able to see representation in the classroom, be taught things from their culture, be taught of figures who have historical roots in their culture. Why the fuck do I have to constantly be learning about like Shakespeare? Why can't I learn something from like Zulu Hurst or 
Malcolm X, for example, I really never knew about Malcolm X. People had described him as being too radical of a revolutionist. Why do I have to know the, the birthday and the death day of George Washington? Well, I don't want to want to learn more about my own culture, my own history, maybe something that goes beyond black and white in that world. I really thought that you'd be able to understand what it's like to be in this in-between place where you're not black and you're not white and, and you're left out of so much of historical discussion. I question why you ignored Black Lives Matter and you belittled the movement. I question why you prioritize yourself rather than educating your students. And I feel like you cannot discuss the history of the United States of America without addressing and acknowledging and understanding the oppression and struggles that a lot of these black and brown people have endured. And now I'm in college and I'm learning by myself. And I've learned about the Mexican farm workers, the Latinx farm workers with the El Monte strike, trying to fight the, the wage gap. When I had to learn about Vincent Chin, a Chinese American man who was murdered days before his wedding, because he was racially profiled as a Japanese American, because he was blamed for taking other people's jobs, the white man's jobs. A lot of the times it stems from this fear that the power dynamic will shift. People who have been oppressed for so long finally be able to acknowledge the worth they possess, which has been taken away from them. I think it's disappointing that I had to listen to the rhetoric that racism no longer exists. I expected more, but I didn't get anything. If you love your students, which I know you do, it's important to discuss, you know, their history within the United States and abroad. I feel that you guys should really be going above and beyond for that kind of stuff. The fact that I had to wait two, three years until I got up into college to learn about my first eth ethnic studies class. Ridiculous. I question why it took me becoming an African-American studies major at UCLA for me to learn anything about myself and about the reality of the world. In college, I've learned a lot and I know a lot now that in high school I would have not been exposed to. Whoever is in charge of creating education in California and in this country needs to do better. And I hope they do. To teach students that your voice matters, that your history matters, you know? And this is not to bash you, but this is to ask why come in a profession that allows you to stimulate so many minds and you choose to do the bare minimum to get you by. I question if teaching is just a paycheck for you. And if it is, I'd humbly ask you to remove yourself from the position. Thank you.